Hi, this is Shobhan, also known as Kingbooth65. I have decided to start a Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 tutorial series starting today. This is the first part of the series. This is the welcome screen that you see in your computer monitor when you open Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. Uh, the first screen uh, shows you that there are basically two parts to this software. One is the Adobe Photoshop Organizer on the left hand side here and the other is Photo Editor, Adobe Photoshop Elements Editor. I am more interested in the editor because I would like to, I normally like to improve upon my photos before publishing them anywhere in Facebook or in my blog sites and all that or wherever. The, every photo more or less needs to be touched up. Sometimes superfluous parts of the photo needs to be cropped out. If there is an exposure problem, you can correct it with a good photo editor like Adobe Photoshop Elements and all that. And of course you can do a lot of trick photography. You can combine two photos to look like one. You can substitute somebody's face with another person's face and all those fun things and trick things. So I'm more interested in the Photoshop Elements editor part but I'll give a very brief uh, introduction about the organizer because some people like to organize their pictures. I do organize too but I have my own way. I do it in my computers, my pictures folder. I have created very many folders inside that my pictures folder and I have organized them in my own way. But uh, since Adobe has provided the organizer, uh, I'll just very briefly show you how to use the organizer. But once again, I emphasize I do not use that organizer much. So my introduction to organizer will be really brief. I'll concentrate more on the editor. So let's go straight to the organizer. Okay, when you open Photoshop Organizer, uh, I have put some pictures there actually for the purpose of this tutorial. But let me show you basically you have uh, four parts to this organizer. The first part here on top left where I am putting my mouse or cursor, that's media, that's sort of all the pictures you have in your organizer but you can group them in different ways you can group them uh, as people I mean if you have pictures of many people you can categorize them catalog them under people if you travel a lot or you go to places you have photos of different places you can put them as uh, 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 under places or if you have pictures of events like Christmas, New Year or Halloween or whatever, birthdays, marriage, you can put those things under events. So, but I, I as you can see, for me the events are all black, uh, I mean blank, that's the word I was looking for events are blank, people are blank, but I do have some general pictures and how did I get these pictures into this organizer? See this import button on the left hand corner? Can you see it? If you click on the import button you will see there are several ways you can get your pictures into this organizer. The first one says from files and folders the second one says from camera and card reader. The third one says from scanner. Then by searching and lastly from Adobe Revel. But as I said, I do not use any one of those. Normally I import my pictures into my uh, computers, my pictures folder directly from the camera in other ways. But I'll show you how I get 
got some of these pictures here in this organizer. I clicked on this from files and folders and then uh, I navigate through my files and folders to look for pictures that I want to include here. Let me just show you uh, just a random example. For example, uh, I have opened a folder that has pictures on Delhi Redford. Uh, I suppose I click on that picture, that's what I want to import and I click get media and it says right here one media has been added uh, to my organizer. If I go back there and if I scroll through this is the picture I just added. Okay and once I add my pictures I can do some quick fixes to the picture right from this organizer screen. If you can you see this uh, let me see if you look on the bottom part here where I hope you can see it I'm not sure let me okay here is the button that says instant fix you can first you have to choose a picture let's say you want to fix this picture of a woman and you say instant fix okay uh, you come to that picture and we want to do some instant fix to it let's do it again here and uh, the easiest and quickest way to fix this picture will be let me make sure you can see it. probably you cannot Excuse me, this is a one-man project. I'm doing the tutorial as well as I'm the cameraman. Okay, I am trying to fix that picture of that woman which is highlighted there. And I can go to this button that says Smart Fix. Can you see? Smart Fix. I'll click on that and see it is doing something. It has fixed that picture for exposure and all that and it is looking brighter so if you want to crop that picture for example you have uh, fixed it but you want to get rid of some of the unwanted parts you click on the crop, crop button and there you get a box you can move that around suppose I want to keep only the face of that lady so we I move the crop box there and when I am ready, uh, let me see if you can see it again. On the bottom of the screen, there is a done button. Can you see it? I am not sure if you can see it. But let's, let's assume you can see it. I click on the done button and the picture should have been... Yeah, look at that. I, I, I cropped out uh, some part of that lady's picture and I kept only her face and so it has been cropped. So this way you can do some of the basic fixes and uh, adjustments to your picture right from the Adobe organizer and these are all automated things. You really don't need much skill. You just need to know which button does what and it's easy. This is the crop button this is the for adjusting contrast this one is corrects the red eye this is gives you color balance this is for sharpening the picture right here that's for levels of the picture and that's the one I just used some time ago smart fix so that's how you do it but since I do not want to make any changes in the picture right now I did it just for the sake of demonstration I'll click the undo button. Let me see if you can see the undo button. On the bottom of the screen here, second button from the left on the button is on the bottom is the undo screen. I click on that. So the cropping part has been undone. But I also did some exposure correction to that picture. So I undo it again. 
and I get back the original picture and I cannot undo it anymore. So that's about it. So that completes today's session. Uh, I just very briefly touched on the organizer part of Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. Uh, from next tutorial on, I'll go straight to photo editing. I'll make it short, brief, to the point and interesting. Please stay with me. Thank you for watching. Bye.